Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video. Yep, it's a very, very early start for me today. Um, got a few things planned. One of them is to drill the hole through the cottage, back wall, to allow for the water pipe to come in. Now, I've got myself a pilot drill bit, which is 10 mil. I need to step it up to 30. Now, I couldn't find one online that long, but there's a vid grenier on today, and there's a fella there that I know that sells lots of tools, and sometimes big drill bits. So, I'm gonna quickly go over there, see if I can find that before I'll commence on this, so let's pop over there and see whether he's got one. There is a, um, a garden architectural cell in the local town in an old ruin of a chateau. Castle really, you know. So I'll probably pop in there, so quite a action packed day. We'll do a cat update as well, let you know what happened with uh, little Bobby with a scan. That's a little grey cat. We had some sort of concerns, so bring you up to speed on that one as well. The window is in, that's in the previous video. Still got to cut some tiles up each side. We've got one there, and we're going to have the other one there. That little one is going to be tiled over. It's only single glazing. The timbers are coming into this section, so I can then put rafters up there and they're supported. I can get a ladder on there, you know, it's not going to collapse, so this will be addressed very shortly. I'm going to try and find old reclaimed tiles, if not, they make new ones that look almost identical to them really and we're gonna do it all in that fair bit of work going on there. So, right, here we go. Let's go and see whether he's here. Um, I think I'm gonna pop the camera just sticking out the top of the bag because lots of people don't like being filmed so I'll try not to be too obvious. That's pretty that's how we'll do it. Exactly. <laughs> Très joli. Ah, très joli. Ouais, très joli. Too many distractions for me. Right, I'm here for a drill bit. Nothing else. Uh, no, he's not here. Nice. Nice shard in here. Keep getting distracted, don't I? There's too many goodies to see. Right, focus. Nice in front of the fire. Well, it looks like my friend isn't here today, but mm, I can't leave empty handed. I've got to buy something now. Uh, maybe an antique. Right. That's a Slater's tool, that one. Well, at the risk of blowing my own trumpet, it's got myself three fabulous copper trumpets. Trumpets, horns, horns I suppose, so yeah, well pleased with those. We'll have a closer look when we get back. Sam's just messaged me, um, she's at the Garden Fate, said there's some good bits there, so just off to meet her there. There's one of the best bakers in the area there as well, so I'm going to get, get myself a few croissants and a pan of chocolate, I think. Okay, right, let's get to the next venue. So we're here. Very busy and crowded, but we might just be able to find something. Now, I'm after something architectural to go in the, the additional garden that me and Sam have got planned, like a gothic -y type object. Something like that. Okay, I've got plenty to choose from here today. These are interesting. Lovely. Some lovely plants here. Very nice. Mm. 
Lovely stall. That one's 300 euros. Oh, that one's not as expensive. Well, these are nice. Silhouettes. 28 euros. Too many plants, if you can get too many plants, but not as much architectural stuff this year. Okay. Ah, there she is. <laughs> I found you. Hello, me filming you, filming me. <laughs> Have you found anything yet? Yes, we've already been back to the car with lots of plants. Oh no, that sounds like lots of hole digging. Lots of work, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, only little bits. Uh, got some. I got some little pansies. Mum got some big pansies. Okay. And uh, we got some plants from the plant exchange. Ah. As well, some different bits and bobs. So. What did you bring in? Some brambles to exchange? No, we didn't. Ex we didn't bring anything in to exchange. <laughs> oh, it sounds we like a good cash instead. Sounds like no, a good if exchange. you don't have something to exchange, you can pay. Okay. You can give a donation. Donation. Yeah, so right. we did. We gave okay. several donations. Right, just looking for something architectural for our ah. new creation garden. So we're going to have a little explore around, see yeah. if there's anything we like. Yeah, that's a good idea. So much to choose from. That's lovely. So Sam said there's another stall up the top selling some metalware as well, so I'm just going to go and check that out. What a lovely setting. Always a nice atmosphere here. Ah, that bit there is the plant exchange. You bring in some plants and you exchange, or if you haven't got any plants to bring with you, you just pay. So that's what Sam was on about earlier. Nah, you don't want to buy that. <laughs> Where's he seeing you two here? You it's the film stars. How are you good going? Morning. Yeah, we're good. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. <laughs> well, that was nice to bump into my friends Steve and Kim. Don't forget to check their channel out, Made for Free. Link will be in the description. Yeah, very, uh, very clever. Clever man with a bit of woodwork. Right, okay. I'm sent up here to find some ironwork. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, Sam has just found a stall that she likes and she's summons me. Oh no, she's got that look in her eyes. Means I've got to buy something, that. No, I don't want to. Oh, look at that. Nice, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Bonne journée, au revoir. Salut, comment tu vas? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Yeah. Lovely. Goodbye. Lovely owl. It's a bird feeder. You put bird balls in there. Oh, yeah. It's only 38. Look at those. Dragonfly. Kingfishers. Kingfishers. And then over here. Lovely hair. Mm. Nice, isn't it? Right, it's decision time. You can only have one thing. <laughs> I think we might buy one each. You buy one and I buy one. Right. Okay. Right, well, you want that heart cage, don't you? I definitely want the heart. Yeah, love that. Right, we well, go and get that. Candle in there as well, couldn't there? Yeah, you could. Yeah. Right, we'll get that. There's one in the bag. So glad I bumped into you. So am I. <laughs> so what you got there? So I've got an owl bird feeder, and I've got some perpetual flowers. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's lovely. Right. Okay, I'll let you sort that out. Yep, I'm going to go And I'll meet you at the coffee. Okay, yeah. Station. All right, are you going to get the drinks in? Yeah. Yeah. I'll have a hot chocolate, what do you want? Yes, I'll have a hot chocolate. Three hot chocolates coming up. Yeah, lovely, all, all right, right then. See you there. Here they come, happy shoppers. Got to go to the bank. <laughs> the man doesn't take cards, so. All right. Okay, well, I'm all spent out. Right, there's your hot chocolates. Lovely, thank you. And a biscuit. Lovely, long may I be biscuits. Enjoy. Oh, look, it's you the film. Got any in that? It's, it's the film it's star the again. Lovely <laughs> <laughs> to see you. Too. Hello, are you all right? Hi. Hi. This is Kim and Steve. Oh yeah, you're all right. <laughs> so we're all shopped out now. Yes, we are. Plenty of buying. Lovely day, yep. Yeah. And we'll see you back home. So we've got these decorative trumpets or holes. Quite nice displayed. Two of them have got plaques on. They're just decoration, you know. Nice polished up. They probably work. I'm not going to try it though until I get it cleaned. Some unusual pieces there. Normally buy French hunting horns, but these are a little bit different. Okay, they'll get cleaned up and they'll go into my website shop. Welcome to Seansworld.com. Now this Sam fell in love with. You can see why it's absolutely beautiful and that's going in our secret garden so yeah we've got just a place for that Sam's got some more ornamentation for the garden as well so let's have a look closer look oh you got those flowers so I've got two of those yeah for when in the winter when there's not much colour in the garden those yeah and uh, a little sort of daisy type one as well. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, sweet. A long tailed tit. Oh, actually, it's a crested tit. Okay. Not a long tailed uh, tit. Crested tit. Yeah, rare bird, but you do see them here. That one's particularly rare, isn't it? <laughs> right. So. <laughs> And very clever. A lovely owl, which you can open the back of. Yeah. And you pop inside some bird feeding balls. Lovely. And the birds can come and feed. Ah, yeah, very apt, the owl, because we have them nesting in our window, don't we, upstairs? Yeah, we have done in previous years, and they're always you can always hear them around. Tawny owls, aren't they? Yeah, here. yeah, tawny owls. It's the odd barn owl, but yeah, it's lovely, that. Yeah. 38 euros, it's good value. That will look very nice. It will. Okay, and you've got some plants in there as well, so. Yeah, I've got some little pansy or violas, I think they are, the small ones. Okay. Lots of colour, nice and pretty. Yeah, we get those planted up. Pop them around the garden. Sure. Right, I've got to get back to work now, so I've got to drill that hole in the cottage. Yep, and then we're off to mum's for lunch. Okay, so let's put these away. They're actually bugles, I kept saying horns and trumpets, but they're bugles. Not, not sure of the age for sure, whether they're uh, just for decoration or whether it's actually used, but they're definitely vintage. They've got a nice look about them, so I'll probably sell them individually. I don't think I'm going to clean them, I'm going to leave that down to the person that buys them. Some people like to see it like this, some like it polished up, so leave as is. And that's going in the website shop, welcome to seansworld.com. Okay. Now it's an old drill, but this may well be its last rodeo. Quite a thickness we've got to drill through, but that should do it. Might have to step back out the front door to get the drill bit in. <laughs> 
Okay, now I'm going to go for there. Get a little bit higher. Now I want to drill it at a slight angle, sort of upwards into the cottage, so any moisture or anything goes out. That gives me the natural sweep in with the pipe, so. Sound too good? I think we're fine. I hope so, because it sounds like the drill is finished. Right, let's have a look the other side. Well, it certainly went through okay. Is it long enough to drill a bit? Hmm. It's close, let me tell you. I measured it against the front wall and it almost, well, it just about reaches the other side, but whether or not the back wall is thicker than the front, it's hard to tell. Mm. Ah, look at that. Well, I couldn't have measured it any better. So yeah, we are through. There you go. Just about enough room to stand in here. So this is 25 mil. Oh, where's the camera gone? There we go. This is 25 mil pipe. Now in my experience, if you drill a 25 mil hole, you won't get this through. So I'm going to step the pilot drill from 10, maybe to 20, then to 30. But I can now do it from both sides. Don't need such a long bit. There's no guesswork. Yeah, I'm well pleased with that. The drill done me proud. I've got another drill, but. Just wanted to see whether that one would do it, and it did. I'll strip it down and have a look, see if there's a bearing missing in the in the chuck part of it. Right, let's drill. Yeah, get that drilled, get the pipe in, and I can get this soil backfilled. That way, I won't end up with a swimming pool. Well, that certainly pleased me. I thought it would go through, it was close. I think the front wall is thicker than the back wall because this back wall purposely was built sort of with the bank in mind so that takes up a lot of the heave if you like from the outside of the wall. Yeah these these properties when they were designed the back wall there's no windows or doors in it and the earth is brought right up into the wall. Now that's the north side so you're getting insulation from the earth so you don't need no windows this side because the earth's so high and probably you didn't need the walls to be as thick. I mean, we're still talking just under a metre thick back one there, so yeah, sizeable wall, solid. Okay, right, that's that done. I'll get my other drill bits out. We get a bigger drill bit through there. So I've got my 25 mil bit. Now, the reason why I went to the Vidgrenier is to see if I could get a 30 mil bit, but I might just have to make do with this. If I can't get the pipe through, it depends whether the hole actually collapses once you pull the drill bit out. So that's what's happened in the past. I've used a 25 for a 25 pipe. You pull it out and then you get like a little bit of collapsing around the hole. Can't get your pipe through, but we might be lucky. So I've got a 25 mil bit. And let's just test it out. See whether I can get that pipe through. But before I do that, I've just had a walk round. There are some loose stones above where I'm drilling. Well, just to the left slightly, so I've got some lime, got some sand, I'm going to knock up uh, a little mix and I'm going to get those bedded in so I don't want any stones falling on my head. Okay, let me show you what I mean. And just to put a few people's minds at rest, my black bump cap is actually like a hard hat, it's got a hard shell inside, this one isn't. But when I'm working, you know, if anything can fall on my head, I've always got the black cap on, so thanks for your concern, but... I've got me, me head literally covered. Right, okay, let me show you those stones. Now I can literally pull them out by my hand, so that isn't looking too clever there. 
the job domino continues. In actual fact, none of the wall looks that good here. But they're the main ones. I'm going to have to address that issue. I'll get those stones bedded in nicely. Might have to clean this area up and uh, get a bit of point in there done as well. Oh, the weather's good. Okay, right, let's get a mix done. So yeah, I'm not going to drill the outside hole from this side. I can drill the one on the inside because nothing's going to fall on my head, but definitely going to get those rocks bedded in nicely. And then, uh, yeah, have a proper look at that wall, see what's got to be done. Okay, in we go. someone's eye out with that. So because this drill bit isn't what we'd call an SDS Max, it's fitting in an old-fashioned style chuck. Um, if this doesn't work I'm just gonna buy the bullet and order it online. So let's give it a go. And plan B is order a drill bit online. And they're not cheap, so I did try everything I could before I had to go and buy another one. But right, sometimes you just gotta do these things. Right, I'll get that on order, that'll be here tomorrow. That'll give me a chance to do the stonework around the back. Once I've got all the roots off, I'll get a wire brush. Let's try this. That's messy. All this damage has been caused mainly by that hole in the gutter there. You can see it there. And it slowly eroded this area here. I mean, it doesn't take too long to put it right. The way I look here, if it hasn't already fallen down now and I'm addressing it, it's only going to get better, isn't it? So, you know, if it's got to its weakest point and it hasn't fallen down, it's not going to. As soon as I repair this, I'll put another piece of timber through there and then this this area is uh, secured again. I mean it does need a little bit more work but the loose ones are going to get done first. I'm going to strip all this back and then we'll just go round and point up all the rest of it. See so sometimes these little things set you back a bit but they're only minor setbacks. Soon get over them. Trouble with this clay infill on these walls. It don't take long for the ivy to really get established. I mean I've killed all this off but Still pops up the pipe. We'll soon have some fresh lime mortar in there. Yeah, let's take it out. Lather it on the floor and on my head. Oh yeah, right, okay, 
Well, at least I can build this up now. I'll show you what sort of a hole it is left. There you go. We'll get all that cleaned out. Get some fresh mortar in there, bed it all down. And once that's set, we'll replace the wall plate. That's the bottom of the rafters sitting on the wall plate there, so that's something we can deal with while we're doing this. get all the loose dust and rubbish out of there. We'll get some nice clean rocks and fill that up with some mortar. And I'll probably let that sit before I continue any further, especially on this wooden wall plate. Okay, we'll damp it all down and just clean up the rest of this area. really does show how deep these ivy roots have gone into this area here. Uh, until I get round to replacing all the gutters, so I'm going to clean them out. And what I've done further down, where they've got holes in, is bought some new guttering and just laid it in the old one. And that way it sort of covered up the hole and travelled it down to the dam pipe, which diverts the water away from the problem. So yeah, that's a, another quick solution. Until I'll get them replaced. They will all be replaced. Okay, right. I need to secure this area up before I do anything else. Join me all in the next video. You see how I'll get on with this. Bye for now.